for you guys. Uh, question is about Huzur, uh, um, the destiny of the Jahannamis. He says uh, in one verse of Surah Nisa 2, in fact, 15 and 17, Allah says that uh, those who are hellbound, they will be there forever. But uh, in Surah uh, Hud, um, this is verse number 108, Allah says uh, a stage will come when they will no more uh, will be in um, hell. Again, uh, there is, uh, he quoted an hadith uh, that says that uh, such a time will come on... I understood that much from this Bangla. Okay. So, so uh, the problem is not uh, indissoluble. It's very easy to understand that wherever God has mentioned the longevity of hell, He is also mentioned illa mashallah, except for what Allah may desire. So that exception is made, and in the place where the heaven is mentioned as everlasting, there is no exception made. The heaven is mentioned as everlasting, just forever. So the hadiths also are in agreement with these two verses. Another aspect which I have mentioned many times before is that the moments of suffering appear to be everlasting. And uh, when someone suffers, it doesn't seem to come to an end at all. Even one night, according to poets, one night of suffering seems to be eternity. But pleasure passes in a jitty. If you are feeling pleasure, you don't feel time passing. It passes in a second. So this is a psychological question which Allah has explained in this that your suffering will appear to be very long when it is really long then it will appear to be extraordinarily long and heaven has to be everlasting otherwise however elongated the period of heaven be it will, when it will pass, if it passes, then you see, you will feel that it is finished just in a minute. Hmm?